first steps in an adopted country. If everything goes well, this black rhino will play a pivotal role in reintroducing its species to Chad, where it was poached into extinction nearly 50 years ago. Two males and four females were relocated from South Africa thanks to a partnership between the two governments. We are thankful to South Africa, who were able to conserve its rhinos until today, and for now allowing other African countries try and do the same. Their journey began three months earlier and more than 4,000 kilometers further south in the Marikele Park where the rhinos were captured. The nearly one-ton animals are moved to another park within the country to prepare them for the 15-hour flight to Chad under the watchful eye of several veterinarians. That takes about three months to get them down to a, to a level that you can actually touch them and they're quite comfortable with human contact. It just makes them move in the aircraft so much easier. Despite becoming more accustomed to human interaction during the process, they remain wild animals. Once they're out in the field, they're a rhino again. They might associate you, but um, they'll be a rhino again. They'll come charging and um, they, they, stay, they stay rhinos, which is quite, a, quite amazing. Dying at the hands of poachers is a constant threat for Africa's 5,000 black rhinos. But NGO African Parks is confident that Chad and the Zukoma Park where these animals are reintroduced, will be able to protect them. We are confident enough of the political will in Chad, of our management expertise, with good funding from the European Union. We believe that we have the recipe to create a, a, a good um, uh, situation for rhino to thrive once again in Chad, where they've been extinct for many decades. After a few weeks of getting used to the different food and climate, the rhinos will be released into the wild. Over time, they will be joined by more South African rhinos with the hope of recreating a population in Chad, reminiscent of a time before poachers.